We have a giraffe. There you go, son. Now get out of here. You're bothering me. Quick question. Before rubber began being used for balloon production in the 1800s, what were balloons made of? The answer may surprise you, but the first balloons were made from the stomachs, intestines, and bladders of common animals. You heard that right. Balloons weren't just shaped into balloon animals, but were also made from animals. Imagine blowing that balloon up. Today, suppliers in the United States sell over 3 billion balloons each year. So how are balloons made? Once balloons moved past the animal intestine stage, they began being mass-produced in the 1930s. And today, the process is a marvel in machinery and technology. Large pools of latex are kept moving by agitators so the latex doesn't congeal. To give balloons variety and life, paint is added to a specific pool, while filters are used to ensure clumps do not reach the pool. This paint and latex mixture is kept moving and mixed by agitators for up to 15 hours. Once the ideal consistency and color has been reached, machines move balloon molds to the latex pool. The molds used are dependent on the balloon end shape desired, from standard party balloons to hearts and long balloons used for fun balloon animals. As the molds are rolled to the pool, they are sprayed with hot water to ensure cleanliness before the production process begins. Before reaching the latex, the machines dip the balloon molds into a pool of coagulate. This step is critical, as the coagulate has an electrochemical charge that will attract the colored latex. The molds are now ready to be dipped in latex upon arriving at the pool. Depending on the facility, double-sided fixtures may be used to be more efficient. The molds are slowly dipped into the latex. After a brief pause, the molds are lifted out of the latex and rotated 180 degrees to stand upright and begin the drying process. To create the lip at the bottom of balloons, rollers are turned at a high speed to meet the freshly dipped balloon molds. The lip is designed to surround the inflation outlet, making it much easier to grasp the balloon for inflating. The reinforced lip also helps the balloon from collapsing on itself, again making inflation by mouth much easier. Once the lip has been formed, the dipped molds continue their journey through the production line. They are then dipped into a large pool of hot water. Here they soak for up to 16 minutes in order to leach out any impurities in the balloon. This soak also leaches out a specific protein derived from Hevia brasiliensis, which causes latex allergies, making the balloons much safer for the end consumers. No one wants an allergic reaction during a party. The hot bath also serves to vulcanize the latex, which means the latex becomes rubberized. Now that the balloons have been rubberized, they are moved to the next station where the balloons are dipped into a mixture of water and talcum powder. This is a crucial step as it allows the balloons to be removed from the molds in later stages much easier, significantly reducing the risk of damaging the balloons. Now that balloons have been set in their shape, the next step is to remove them from their molds. Machinery moves the balloons on their molds to a station where jets are blowing air at high speeds. As the molds move through this station, the balloons begin to fill with air, pulling themselves off of the molds that shape them. As the balloons begin to inflate, rollers at the top gently grab the balloons to remove them from the molds. The rollers move the balloons upwards to a conveyor belt, where the balloons are collected and moved to a washing machine. Here, they are washed and heated with a cleaning solution to complete the vulcanization process. At this point, standard party balloons have been produced and can move to the quality assurance tests. If you want a more intricate design or pattern on the balloons, the balloons are manually placed and hooked into a special machine. They are then inflated with jets, where a printing machine gently applies the designed pattern to the balloon, changing the angle of application to cover the entire balloon. Before packaging, balloons go through inspection to ensure no irregularities are present. They are filled to ensure they can be fully inflated. Balloons are also scanned to ensure no abnormalities like blisters are present. If the balloons pass the tests, they move into the packaging stage. This automated packaging stage starts with machinery separating the plastic package and heat pressing one end of the plastic to seal it. From there, Machines count the specific number of balloons needed per package and fill the package with that amount before sealing the other side. From there, the balloons are shipped to stores around the world, ready for consumer end use. And that's how balloons are made. If you learned something new today, subscribe to the channel and we'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.